brush it off, fall out. Pull it up, pull it up. That's the time we ball out. Throw it up, throw it up. All right, YouTube. I got Star on the box today. I'm sorry I didn't film most of it, but I did. I'm going to show you what I got so far. Here's the baffle, the top layer. It's a double stack, three quarter inch MDF board. It's glue, it's drying right now. Got these clamps secure and holding it together. Here's what we got so far in the box. It's gonna be end up. This box is gonna end up being 18 inches tall, 30 inches long, 24 wide, with a four inch slot port, with about with 4.9 cubic feet of air after displacement of the woofer. The woofer is going to be mounted here, facing up, so easier airflow. No fiberglass, this whole thing on the inside. And sand it, fiber, sand it, fiberglass it, paint it. Alright, new two. The baffle is finished drawing, and I'm test fitting it to make sure everything was cut correctly. Got a nice flush corner right here. Nice and flush. All the edges. Perfect. Going into the arrow. Going into the slot port. It's four inches wide. Tuned to 31 hertz. And I haven't sanded it yet, but I'm just test fitting it to make sure the woofer will fit. And it will. And it's going to be a really close fit, but it's going to work. This is the port wall right here. It's barely gonna fit. But yeah, this is what it looks like so far. <clears throat> okay, fiberglass the inside of the box. The whole inside's fiberglass. Fiberglass resin. Just to give it easier airflow. When the sub is playing. I'm gonna round this off later right here. <clears throat> but right now that's all I did was fiberglass resin the whole inside. A nice, smooth, hard, stronger box. I finished. I started painting the box. Did a white, white coat for the port. Cause I'm gonna spray some lime green over it. And the rest of the box is gonna be black. This whole outside, top, and everything is gonna be black. And the port is gonna be lime bright green. So it'll stand out much more. <laughs> it's raining outside, so I'm not doing this outside. But this is what it's like so far. It's white all the way to the back. And I'm gonna put some green over when this dries. Stay tuned. All right, I got my first layer of green paint on. Here's the top layer. Really bright green. And here's the port. This one right here. This is the first layer of green paint. I'm going to do two layers and some clear coat gloss to give that glossy appeal. It goes all the way in here. That's what it looks like so far. Alright, got the top on. This is completely dry now, the port, with the second coat of green. I got the terminals drilled in right here for the wires to go through. I filled in all the holes with the screws, and I'm gonna be sanding this soon when everything dries. I'm about to paint the rest of this. Well, first I'm about to sand this, the corners, the edges, the rest of this. Then I'm gonna paint the whole thing black. Here's what the box looks like. Put the last coat of black on it. Up against this green port. Looks really nice, and that's what it looks like. That's what the box looks like. I'm about to put the woofer in. I'm about to wire all this up, put it in, and then it'll be done. The amp rack. What the amp rack looks like. It's gonna have three main fans. One right here, here, and here. It's gonna have a green fan, 
purple fan, purple fan, and these two small holes are vent holes for when the air is coming out, the amp has some ability to breathe. And I painted it white so when the lights are underneath it, it'll show up more. And I just put this green look on the edges to make it look nice to mess with what it was like when it was built. Now this is what it's finished, and this is what it looks like. It's going to be holding this amp, audio pipe, 3000D, pretty nice amp. And this is the completed project of my amp rack. It's got three fans, which are all on right now with my power source. I got purple, purple, and a green one. Have a nice close-up look of it. And this is what it looks like underneath. Let's see if I get a good view of that. You got your three fans. Each are gonna be under a vent on the amplifier. It's all wired to the side, and it's gonna be it have this one lead coming out. So when I do hook it up, it's gonna all connect to this and turn all of them on at one time.